And my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja, and I want to welcome you back to another edition of your Adrenal Fix. Today, I want to talk to you about um, having a gut bacteria, in namely a C. diff infection, and what that may have to do with your adrenal fatigue. Um, first of all, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about what are some of the symptoms that you may be having when you have a gut bacteria, and how may that be related to your emotion. So, Feelings like worthlessness, hopelessness, self-destruction, can't handle stress the same way that you used to, you get easily angered or agitated when you have stress, or you spend a lot of time um, sleeping and not recovering and feeling like you still don't have a lot of energy, you want to isolate yourself from a lot of people, um, you, you're overly concerned maybe with some family um, uh, things that are going on, and you just don't finish your tasks. And, and maybe you get angered at the slightest drop of a hat. So what does that have to do with a gut infection? And what does that have to do with your adrenals? All right, great question. Um, so, so this has to do with a, um, a question that was asked in my Facebook group, and you can get the link to that uh, underneath this video. And if you're already in my Facebook group, then you're going to see this directly. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to ask, uh, answer a question that one of the members posted. And she said, hey, I just got diagnosed with a C. diff infection, and I was not symptomatic. So the first thing I would say is, how would you know you weren't symptomatic? Are you talking about your gut wasn't symptomatic? You didn't have gut pain, bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea, distension, um, or you know, you were in the group for a reason. You probably already had some fatigue. Maybe you had joint pains. Maybe you had headaches. Maybe you had um, inability to lose weight or maybe you couldn't concentrate. Maybe you um, felt cold all the time. You had something going on, and, um, but you didn't relate, relate it to the gut. Um, so I would say, first of all, the first lesson is you don't necessarily have to have an, a gut infection to feel a gut problem. Um, the fact is, is that you may have a lot of gut stuff going on and it's causing joint pains or you have a lot of gut stuff going on and you have brain fog or you have a lot of stuff going on with your gut and you can't fall asleep and you can't stay asleep and you can't stabilize your energy throughout the whole day so um, I would question first of all if you were symptomatic or not because you you were you just didn't realize um, and then you said they started on a probiotic and then the past three days I'm certain my adrenal fatigue is worse again so what I would say is this is a probiotic although it's good to help with the strains of the of the dysbiosis or the unhealthy bacteria in the gut it is not a um, um, antimicrobial and a lot of the times what will happen is is you sort of stoke the fire if you will it's one of those old machines that you know you would stoke a fire with and it sort of causes it to flare up a little bit and now you are noticing gut problems because you weren't really ready for that or it was like bringing a knife to a gunfight it wasn't enough ammunition and besides which you were on the defense and you were short-handed and you decided to go ahead and try to you know run an offensive play and all of a sudden you you know you got a turnover happened and you got caught in transition. Hopefully that makes sense. Sorry for the sports references. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to explain to you some of the biochemistry and what's happening. So phenylalanine and tyrosine, they're two major um, amino acids that are the prerequisites for making dopamine. And um, if you are not eating a lot of protein or you're not absorbing a lot of protein, you're not making a lot of hydrochloric acid, um, then you are going to have a problem with making enough dopamine. On top of that, if you have an iron deficiency, which most people do, if you have a gut infection or you have a parasite, um, then you are not, you're going to have a lot of your iron being stolen from you by the, the inhibitors or sorry, the inhabitants of your ecosystem and they're feeding off you and eating your iron or um, you're just out of work, able to absorb iron because the same reasons you can't secrete enough stomach acid to break down the iron and absorb it. Um, not to mention the BH4 um, biopterin, um, if you don't have an optimally working uh, methylfolate, uh, meth MTHFR, uh, folinic acid, DHFR, um, you know, there's a lot of um, fancy alphabet soup enzymes that if they're not working too well, you're not making BH4 effectively and you're not making L-DOPA. Um, so what happens is your dopamine levels can go down. 
Now, the other thing that could happen is that could be going fine, and this C. diff infection is going to inhibit the breakdown of dopamine to epinephrine. And that creates a huge problem because either it's like a stale pond. You're not getting free-flowing water into the pond, and that water is not clearing and getting out of the pond. And what happens to that water? It gets stagnant. It gets stale. It ferments. It gets bacteria. And when dopamine levels is not regenerating and not clearing out, it's like it's not very high. And dopamine levels can be very high and, and as a result say dopamine is water is flowing there and it's not clearing then all that dopamine becomes oxidized so in a way whether it's really high dopamine levels or not enough dopamine levels getting in there that DBH enzyme because of C. diff is slowing down and clearing and as a result it's like um, it's no longer effective and as a result you have these feelings of worthlessness and hopelessness and self-destruction and not handling your stress so you're saying hey I I wasn't dealing with any symptoms in in my gut um, and then I started on a probiotic and now I'm worse and it's not so much you're worse you're just now you're aware of the battle royale going on in the gut it also increases your quinone, and as a result, that creates a very excitatory paradox in terms of you're not making enough adrenaline, but you are making an excitatory neurotransmitter, and that gets you into your sympathetic fight or flight. As a result, you put a lot more pressure on these other enzymes, COMT, which is already busy trying to break down estrogen. So if there's estrogen dominance, or there's a blood sugar problem, or you're taking hormones, and um, you already are putting a lot of lineup on a, and an enzyme that's overworked and it's not doing a good job. Um, also, you put more pressure on your MAOA enzyme, and that produces a lot of hydrogen peroxide. And when you produce a lot of hydrogen peroxide, you have all these free radicals that are overstimulating your cells, and you're producing all of this excitatory stimulation, and you're overstimulating, and you don't have enough fuel to make that happen. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So what do you do about it? Well, first of all, you have to get out of the defensive mode, and that means you have to start basic. You have to maybe take some free-form amino acids or branched-chain amino acids. You have to stabilize your glucose. You have to get out of overwhelm. Uh, Ultrapollen, propolis, um, bioflavonoids, those are all really great uh, nutrients that you can take to settle down that excitatory mechanism glutathione, um, other bioflavonoids to help with antioxidant production is really, really helpful. PQQ can really help that enzyme, DBH, um, open itself up along with vitamin C and copper, and that can help open up that enzyme and help make that uh, clear out that dopamine and make it really, really helpful. Um, SAMe, methylfolate, methylcobalamin, um, those can help with that COMT because those need methyl groups to help those clear that out as well. Helping your digestion process break down the proteins and the iron um, and be able to make tetrahydrobiopterin more available or even taking tyrosine can be really helpful too. Um, looking at an organic acid test is really, really awesome to see the impact that this is place, placing on the, on the neurotransmitters is really, really helpful. Um, and just, you know, um, realizing that you, you weren't symptomatic. Maybe you were in your gut, but realizing that um, things are already going on. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you. Um, be sure to check out the links under this video. I'll leave some links to some of the supplements that um, can be really helpful. I have a doctor supplement store that you can order um, these supplements like free form amino acids, um, multipollin and propolis. Um, looking at PQQ is wonderful. Um, something that's going to help settle down that gut. And then the last thing I would say is Trying to do an antimicrobial, um, not necessarily an antibiotic, but doing something that's going to help with um, the, the gut flora. And that could be, uh, and when I say flora, I'm talking about the, the biome and killing things. And we like to use biocidin as an awesome thing. Um, you know, getting a binder is really, really helpful too to help cl clear out those things. Systemic enzymes could really, really break that down. But you got to make sure that you're ready to handle that. And that's why we'll take your pH uh, throughout the day 
to make sure that you're in a, in a nice alkaline uh, pH balance because if you're too acidic and you try to do some of these aggressive procedures when you haven't just made the foundation of absorption, free form amino acids, uh, inflammatory antioxidants um, to stabilize the ship, then you are going to feel like you crashed. So anyways, hope you felt that was really helpful. My name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja, and I look forward to helping you with your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.